Hey, it's Shai Schwartzman with the Done For You system, and I'm coming at you with a new hot off the press video of a best practices session that I just conducted with CP Millionaire Agent Coach Todd Walters, along with Sandy Casella and Bill Watson. Now, Sandy is a top CP Millionaire Agent program member from Mississauga, Ontario. That's just outside Toronto. And Bill Watson is a long-time and top member from Denver. I had the privilege of having Todd Walters join me to moderate and dig deep with questions to the panel on awesome ways to get more listings with your for sale sign. Now these members share with us in detail how they get more listings with signage and leverage their listings to get more listings using house talk. Sellers love house talk because it gives their property great exposure and buyers love the ease of use and getting instant audio information on properties with less hassle. Now keep watching till the end of the video because I'm going to make you a very special offer that you can test drive house talk for only nine dollars and start having the same success that these members are having in your marketplace. So enjoy the video and talk to you on the other side. Hey everyone, welcome. Now, let's get right into it. Um, most of you are very familiar with the Craig Proctor system, okay? And you know that the purpose of your for sale sign when you throw it in the front yard is not to do anything other than get more listings. If you believe your for sale sign is to sell the house, wrong. You don't need for sale signs to sell these listings. You guys know that, okay? If you think your for sale sign is to quote get buyer calls, no, you're gonna you can get buyer calls all kinds of different ways. And what about the people who aren't interested in that listing? They're not calling you. So the purpose of your signage in front of the listing is bigger than what the industry norm and standard is, and that is to get listings. You put a for sale sign in the front yard is to get more listings. So Craig recognized this decades ago. So he used a system called Radio Talking House. You guys know what that is. You pull up in front of the house and you tune your car radio to the station um, that's advertised on the sign. OK, you reach over, you tune your car radio station to 640 a.m. or whatever it was, 540 a.m. And, uh, and immediately through the car radio, you would hear Craig's voice about a little bit about the house and about, you know, hey, if you've got a home to sell, we can actually guarantee the sale of your home. And if it doesn't sell at a price agreeable to you, I'll buy it myself. So that's all part of the message and the scripting, right? Okay, well, personally, um, I had 300 radio transmitters, uh, I think was the number. It was 300 radio transmitters when I sold my real estate business in April of 2009. So that's how big I thought it was, right? It worked. We crushed it with getting people to stop in front of the listings, tune their car radio station to that, and immediately start hearing a commercial about why they should call me if they need to sell their house, okay? All right, now, there were problems. There were problems with this. You guys know what it is. We put the radio thing in, in, in the house there, and it just wouldn't work all the time. They were static. It'd be a power surge. It would go out and quit working. Got to run back out there to the house, unplug it, plug it back in. You know, and, and some of the houses wouldn't even work at all. There was overhead interference and other things like that. So this went on for years until our good pal, uh, at Lifestyle Media, Shai Schwartzman uh, basically took a, an online podcasting system and turned it into a foolproof talking house. So taking advantage of modern technology like um, uh, car Wi-Fi and smartphone technology, well, just like you can get radio over the Internet, well, that's what it is. So it's, a, it's an audio message, a radio message um, doing the same thing that we used on Radio Talking House but this way through a URL, okay? And then we call it house talk. And how to use this to get a lot more listings. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna kick it over to my, my pal here, Lifestyle Media, Shai Schwartzman. Shai, how are you, my man? Hey, pretty good, thanks for having me on. Yeah, my pleasure. So there kind of gives you everybody the background. Um, and I wanna make sure that we're clear on the need. So if you're looking at this sign setup, this is a Craig Proctor, uh, for sale sign marketing system set up. This is the system right here you're looking at, okay? You got your buy this home, I'll buy yours rider. You got your URL that drives people to a, a move up 
trade up offer online, your big number on the for sale sign and your secondary sign sitting right next to that. And the secondary sign is talking house, not an information line, but something with more novelty. So let's address that right away, Shai, because a lot of members um, have somehow believed that they can throw an information line up um, on a secondary sign and that will work to get them leads. And the answer is yes, you'll get leads from that, but the leads really aren't leaving you a message, are they? So those of you who are using info lines on secondary signs, let me tell you what, what you're doing. You're telling people to call this information line and you'll give them the information on the house, whatever, without having to talk to an agent, right? Okay, so they do that. And when they do, they listen and hang up for most of you. Okay, not anything is happening. And if I'm not mistaken, many, most of you do not want more leads that you can't reach, more leads that are not interested in talking to you, more leads that you're having to chase down, chase down, chase down, right? What you want are more prospects calling you saying, hey, I want to talk to you about selling my house. Hey, what is this guaranteed sell thing? How's that work? Hey, I heard this thing where you said if you'd buy my home if it if it doesn't sell, like what's that about? How many of you want more of those calls? Okay, well, great. That's why House Talk exists. It's to help you get more of those people calling. So the novelty factor is important here. So if you can look at the sign here, you see the novelty factor. It says, hey, you know, stop, tune your car Wi-Fi to 1065 Gunner Court or housetalk1.com or whatever URL you've got here or your smartphone, just go to housetalk1.com or 1065gunnercourt.com. And that's a special URL that you've registered and it's gonna forward right to that listing, right on their smartphone or car, wi car Wi-Fi. And they're gonna be able to hear essentially the same exact thing that we did with Radio Talking House for two decades, right? Um, but it's permanent and there's no interference, no issues. And you know what else? All your other listings are there as well. Plus you get to make other offers, plus there's a picture. So it's it's like radio talking house on steroids is what I like to call it, Shy. So am I giving it a fair assessment here? To dovetail with that, the idea behind house talk is to uh, connect you with your voice to the prospect so they hear your voice, you let them know about the guarantee, any other special um, consumer programs that you offer and then you get into the main property description and the nice thing about or what we find that is more appealing is sort of that mystery uh with the voice because people say well why don't we just show them a video mm -hmm. but we find that when people see a video they're more like mm, yeah the house is too big i don't like the color mm -hmm. when it's just audio it paints another picture in their mind. Mm, when we right. talk about a traditional four bedroom, tra you know, traditional four bedroom home with a perfect level backyard, tree line, privacy, whatever that means to the prospect is what is the picture in their head. Mm -hmm. So there's no visual to discount them from contacting you. That's a great, and that is a great word picture that you just created, Shy. Um, cause a lot of people, um, believe that, you know, that, well, look at man, if that's all you got to do guys, just record more videos, do more virtual tours and that'll get you more listings. Well then just do more of that. But you've already, you already know how that works. People look at it and they go away. They look at it, they go away. So, um, creating a word picture, that's how you generate leads. Now, my suggestion is that you stick to the system. Okay. Shy. Lifestyle Media, our great vendor here putting this together, Craig and I are going to tell you, leverage the listing to get more listings. Mm -hmm. So focus on move up buyers, focus on your USP, use a little bit of the property, the high points to it, to make sure people understand that you're a solution to their biggest problem, getting rid of the home so they can buy another one. That's the purpose of House Talk. That's why it's born. That's why it works. And you'll get more listings. When you deviate from that, you're going to run into some issues. All right. Tell us a little bit. All right, so I think I get the overall picture, Shy. So I go to the URL on the sign. And uh, let me address that real fast, real quick, like Shy. So when I go to the URL on the sign, my my first thought is, is that I've got to go to GoDaddy. 
and I got to register a URL for every listing I bring on, but that's not true. Is it? No, what you what you can do, and I, I, I've invited a, a couple of our members um, onto today's webinar uh, to share best practices uh, with everyone, how they're using it in their business. And the first person um, I have is uh, Sandy, and I'll bring Sandy on in a moment, and she could tell us how the success that she's having with House Talk. And but you can there's a couple of there's two options. Uh, one is yes, each uh, house would have its own URL, and I kind of like that because it it you know you're standing in front of one two three Main Street doc. You type in one two three Main Street dot com. I like that. It's easy. It's simple. They don't have to think about it too much. The other option, and um, uh, I believe. Uh, Bill Watson, who I invited as well, I believe does that as well, and he could talk about that, um, is to register two, three, four URLs. For example, uh, you could do housetalk.com, uh, housetalk, uh, uh, housetalk2.com. You know, if you're in Atlanta or a certain part of Atlanta, you could do, um, uh, you know, MarietaHT1.com. Uh, Marietta House Talk dot you know two dot com, and so you could do different combinations. And what you could just do is with in in that option is just reuse the URLs. So because what happens is when you uh, when you upload a home to House Talk, there's a back end, so you log into the back end, and we have training videos uh, that show you how to do all of this. It's real simple. You upload um, your audio for that house. You record it. And again, we show you how to do that. And each property that you upload generates a unique URL on the system. So the system will generate a unique URL. Then you take that URL and then you forward it. If you're with GoDaddy, you just go on to the uh, control panel. And again, we have a, a video that shows you how to do that. You go on to the back end of GoDaddy and you just redirect it. So if you're doing, if your URL is MarietaHouseTalk1.com, then you just tran you redirect the House Talk URL. So when someone types in MarietaHouseTalk1.com, the that particular house will show up. Mm -hmm. And then you could just keep that URL connected to it until you sell the house, and then you can just reuse it for something else. The system gives you statistics. So if you're, at, you know, if you have one, two, three Main Street, then you can see how many overall views you you get, how many unique views you get. But and so you can see how many people have gotten information. It's information you can use um, uh, for your seller uh, to let them know how much traffic you're generating. Uh, to their for their home with buyers coming uh, driving by walking by etc. And um, and secondly, the benefit is that you know people call you. So and and Sandy can talk about this and and Bill. Um, they can also see your other listings. Mm -hmm. So as you build up your listing, yeah, that's uh, look. Let's don't let's don't glass over that, dude. That is a big deal. I'm leveraging my listing. Let me, let me make sure everybody gets this. Leverage your listing to get more listings. Leverage your list. Write that down. Leverage your listing to get more listings. So it would only make sense that if I'm advertising one home and I'm using my USP and some creative language here to get more listings, what would happen if when you get to that place, it's not just one listing? Like, everybody think this through. Wouldn't it be great if when a prospect goes to Zillow, for example, if you're in the States, prospect goes to Zillow, and they only see your listings? And you can, you can put anything you want into pictures. You can say anything you want in the remarks. Your home sold, guaranteed, or I'll buy it, or whatever. Your phone number is the one that shows up there. Would you get more leads? I mean, if, of course you would. Everybody would. That's like what you're, you're fighting to try to accomplish. So the, here you go. Uh, it's been delivered uh, to you on a silver platter here with House Talk, and I aim to make this thing, um, with the help of Shy here, really, really, really good for everyone because it's been a freaking jackpot for us. Um, let's talk to Sandy. 
and let's see what uh, what's happening with her on this show. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. So let, let me unmute Sandy. Sandy, are you there? I am here. How are you? I'm wonderful. Can Thanks so me? much for joining Good. us today on the on on the webinar. It's my pleasure. So Sandy, tell me a little bit about how you got involved with House Talk and you know what 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 you like about it. I, I'm going to put up your 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 picture here with your sign. So tell okay. us how you're using it. Nope. How you're using it and and the benefits that you've derived so far. Cuz we see here so, that you know you get a lot of yeah. you get a lot of views. Yeah. Yeah, I actually love this. I um you talked about this at one of the conferences that I was at and I was I was just all over this. I thought this was an absolutely great idea. Um it it costs very little per month to do this, but that really makes that the sign stand out. So I think it, you know using this as a listing tool is um, you know helps you get the listing because it makes you different. Nobody else is using. There's nobody in Mississauga that's using this. There's 45,000 other real estate agents here. Nobody else is using this. Um, I, I just think it's amazing. Um, I I um, so you can see my sign there. Um, I, I I wish I could use this more for some condos too because I'm getting some condo listings, but I, I, it's not really easy for me to use it for that. But I wish I could. Um, but I will tell you, I did switch those domain names. Like I on there, I have the actual address of the property, but I switched them now. I bought all uh, URLs that I'll just keep reusing. Yeah, I like. Um, hey, you know what? You could just go SC, like Sandy Cassell, SC House Talk One, mm -hmm. SC House yeah, Talk actually, Two. Yeah, you know what I did? I I kind of took. I just took like I have House Talk Four One Six. So Four One Six is the area code in our area, or Nine O Five. I just kind of played with those like GTA house talk different things like that um, mm -hmm. because I you know what I think because what will happen is with this URL eventually this URL I won't pay for this after a year I won't renew this URL because this house is sold but I, I want people to be able to still you know somehow some way that you know gets in syndication someone sees that URL they wouldn't be able to go there so um, I actually really like this it, it really does make you stand out um, between this and uh, using the um, the converter, the bomb, the the one that I send out, it, it's um, you know I very rarely lose out on on a listing. And Sandy, uh, are you getting uh, more phone calls, or are people calling you on your cell more uh, since you started using House Talk? Yeah, I do. I actually, my sign calls have gone up quite a bit in the last. I'm going to say in the last uh, two, about two months, my sign calls have gone up quite a bit, where people will call me call my cell phone and stuff. So I would say it's not directly related to this. And I mean, obviously the more people that call you, um, you know, and the house is, you explain the house, but again, it's not about selling the house. It's about generating leads. Cause now, well, what are you looking for in a house, Mr. And Mrs. Home seller? Yeah. Well, obviously when, when people call me, I just go into the script and then I'm trying to book an appointment right. with them. But um, what I like about this is I'm, I'm sure that when you look at those numbers, I'm sure that a lot of people who are going to that URL are the neighbors. And that's who I want going there, right? I want the neighbors going there so that when they're thinking of selling, they're seeing my, you know, if they're seeing my sign in the neighborhood and they're seeing other real estate agents in the neighborhood who aren't doing this, then I'm going to get those, I'm going to get those people calling me. Right. That's what I like I about it because I think it will get me more listings down the road. Well, that's a great point. Now, speaking of getting more listings, we provide you with um, a video that uh, you can put into your PowerPoint and which explains house talk in a very you know fun animated way to the uh, to the seller when you're making your listing presentation. How, how are sellers receptive to, to to house talk when you're presenting your listing presentation? Well, this makes you stand out, right? It makes you unique, makes you stand out. So they see that there's you know I'm talking about demand and how I'm going to create more demand for their listing. And this obviously helps to bring that all, um, that whole package forward that we're going to be able to create more demand because people are able to get more information on the property. So we're going to get more calls. We're going to get more people looking at this. Um, so sellers really like it because it, it, it obviously makes you different. It makes you stand out and you're doing a little bit more than what, what uh, the average agent is doing. Thanks, Sandy, for very much for well, thank you for for, for that. I, I, if you can hang on the line, I'd like to bring on uh, Bill, Absolutely. Uh, Bill Watson, who's uh, a good I... friend of ours. Oh, Tell us about you. your house talk experience. 
I had the radio transmitters in Denver. Um, and the problem that I was having was uh, the station started to get taken up. It was hard to, to get a, a good, clear transmission. So we quit using those. And, um, and then what I did was I kind of took the talk, talking house concept and I used the 800 numbers for a while to do it that way. And then, of course, when you, when you came up with, with house talk, I mean, I think I think I was signing up with it, and Todd was only halfway through the presentation, because I I mean it it just it's it's absolutely amazing. So there's a couple things. One is um, uh, we we are I have I have seen an increase in phone calls as it relates um, from our listings, and we literally just did a deal where um, now it didn't it didn't come it turned out to be a buyer, but he heard it out he he drove up in front of the listing. Heard it on House Talk, gave me a call. We went and showed him the house. He didn't like that one. We signed him up as a buyer's agent, and he turned around and bought another house for about five hundred and forty grand. And um, I'm not so sure that would have happened. The thing that I like about House Talk is, first of all, what I did was the minute that I saw it, because I'm kind of lazy and I didn't want to have to generate new stickers, I went to GoDaddy and I got House Talk one through House Talk twenty five mm -hmm. um, dot com. And um, so then what we do is we just, we just set those up um, that way. And, um, and then the other thing is, is that we never take anything off of our house talk site, right? So just like Todd said, even though the house sold, it still shows up there. And so when somebody looks on there, they see a lot of, uh, a lot of different listings. Um, when we go on our, from the listing appointment side, you know, the thing that we stress is that our goal is to make sure that we attract 100% of the market that has the potential of buying their house. And one of the ways that we do that, obviously, is with our signage in the front yard and house talk is, besides our real estate side, the big, the big part of that. You know, right from the very beginning, when I started with Craig, one of the biggest things was that people can get information on our houses 24 hours, seven days a week, and not have to talk to an agent. And because of that, we just simply get more phone calls, right? And that's what that's what House Talk that's what House Talk does for us. Um, with the signage out in front, it makes their house stand out more, right? Because they're, the buyer is seeing something that they haven't seen, and our sellers love it because most people in this marketplace still use the antiquated brochure box that got invented in 1978, and they're always empty, and it's deletion marketing. Whereas the house talk is not deletion marketing, it draws, right? It draws the buyer into the experience and uh, a lot gives us, gives us a better opportunity to not just sell that house, but really gives us a better opportunity to get more clients from the signage. And so we're using, we use it on everything. And, um, and, and Sandy, I know condos are tough, but if you got one with a, with a marketing window where people can see it, we just tape it up in the window. And, yeah, um, that's a good idea. You know, and just and just leave it at that. So, um, but it, it is. It goes on all of our listings now. So it's our signage. It's our we'll buy you. You know, buy this house and we'll buy yours wider. And then it's the house talk sign right, right, right there in the front yard. And and for listings, Bill, uh, are you showing? Uh, are you listing appointments? Oh, I use the video. Yeah, no, oh, it's, it is. It's it's a big part of our listing appointment, right? So we've got the eight hundred ads, the one eight hundred number ads. And then we go right into the uh, into the house talk. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And that that was my point on our listing appointments. It really drives home why we're different, why we're going to create more demand for the house. Because of that demand, we're going to maximize their equity, right? And so we're going to do the three things that our listing presentation says. You know, we're going to get more home for your market. We're going to do it in less time, and we're going to do it with the least amount of hassle. And house talk helps us helps us achieve that. And Todd, the nice thing about House Talk is that you could, it doesn't really matter how many people listen, uh, and this is for everyone out there, uh, everyone on today's webinar, it, you, can, you can have as many people listen to it. There's no 800, like with the 800 line, you're paying toll charges. There is no other cost. You can have a million people listen to it. Uh, you could share it. 
I mean, you could you could even take the link and share it online and direct people to House Talk. So, I mean, you it, it, the, 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 it was developed with the signage, but we're also experimenting with using it on social media. There's a lot more that you can do with House Talk. Plus, again, there's no, there's no, you know, there's no hardware you need like Talking House. Everyone's got a phone, or most, many people have a, a phone in their hand. As long as they have an internet connection or cellular connection, they can they can hear your house talk. Mm-hmm. I think what Bill was saying was all of the guys who use radio talking house, you know, they've been around a while, or coaches, and millionaire agent, multi-millionaire agent members, guys who use house talk. I mean, uh, radio talking house. They 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 went out and did this immediately once we when we rolled it out and say, hey, here's the latest and greatest upgrade to radio talking house. They did it immediately because it was infinitely less money and a hundred percent no problem. Like there's no issues when delivering the message. So it was just way better. Uh, so anyway, that's it. All right. Um, yeah, so so Todd, I was never pro- able to get those radio talking house signs here. I, was, I wasn't able to buy them. I tried to buy them and they never, ever showed up. So I was really happy when this came out. You know, you're right about that. Um, the guy who owned the company that had it for years, I forget his name, he passed away. So the company kind of floundered in lingo for a while. And somebody picked it up. And uh, you can you can go online and find these radio talking house transmitters. But I think it's 200 bucks or some such uh, for a new brand new transmitter. That's, that's crazy. I mean, you know, when based on what we have available to us here, uh, that, that it almost makes it obsolete. And uh, Sandy and, and and Bill were talking about the the video. So you we give you we give you a video that you can download. So and in, in you're welcome when you when you uh, register and to get your Talking House uh, subscription or y- your account, you can we will send you in your welcome uh, email a link where you can download the video that uh, you can simply pop into your. Um, Millionaire Agent Listing Presentation, and we also give you the signed files, so uh, you can download. We have the files in a, v- a bunch of different formats in um, EPS, uh, PDF, JPEG, uh, Photoshop. So you could take any of those files, give them to your printer or sign maker, and all you need to ha- is do is put the URL where you see here 123 Main Street, just put the URL that you're going to use for that particular house. Mm-hmm. And if you if you get a, you know, a series of URLs like Bill, then, you know, you, you're, 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 you're good to go. We also give you directional signs. So if you want to put out any signage um, in and around the neighborhood directing traffic to that particular house talk sign that's in front of your listing, we give you those as well. So all you need to do is download the files and and get them printed. Now, the other thing that you can add to your signage is a QR code. So like the, the URL, you can add a QR code and some people like to have that option where Um, People can just walk up to the sign or from a distance, they can hold their phone up, their phone camera up, and you can create in the back end, we have our House Talk QR code generator, where you can generate a QR code and then have that printed on your sign as well. So, you know, for people who don't want to type it in, they could just, with the camera phone, just get it, uh, it would go directly to that uh, House Talk page for that particular home. And we also give you the script, which uh, uh, which Todd, you wrote. And uh, we do, a, uh, we, we've created, in House Talk, in the back end, we've, uh, we have three sections we call the pre-roll, which is the team leader, because you want to connect with your prospects or the people that listen to you or that are listening to House Talk, you want them to hear your voice. You want to be able to connect with them. So they're, it's almost like a one-to-one com- talk. So this is where you can, hi, this is, and your name here. Basically, you could use it, use it pretty much as is. 
And this is where the team leader records the pre-roll. And if you go look at the bottom, what we call the post-roll or the call to action. And then the middle part is the property description. And the property description, either the team leader can do for each house, but why we've divided that is that the team leader really only has to record that opening and that close. And then that only has to be done one time. And then the property, the main property description could be recorded by uh, the inside salesperson or some a, an admin person. And then all that, only that would need to change for each property. And so the team leader doesn't have to take up their time to record e e it, uh, an intro and an out for each and every house. So we, we thought of that as well. And then can we have training videos on how to how to you know how to use it and we're here to support you as well. I don't know if Sandy's still on. Let me just see um, if Sandy's still. Are you still there, Sandy? I am. Yes. How long did it take you to set up um, when um, when you first got it? Was it difficult? No, it's not difficult at all. It's uh, it, it's all fairly easy to work, so not too hard. If I can do it, probably anybody can do it. And and Bill, uh, did it take you? I know Bill. Uh, if you're there, uh, how long, did it take you a long time to set it up? No, it was a piece of cake. And what we did for the recordings was, I went on Amazon and they sell this. It was only like thirty or forty bucks, a real high quality um, um, uh, microphone that is that is portable. And then I went and downloaded a program called Audacity that uh, we use to uh, do the recording. And we just, uh, it, it's a very high quality uh, app that you can get for nothing. And we uh, do the recordings. We just, we save the file. We upload it into the section that we want in it. And uh, it's done. We have Haley now in our office that sets up the whole thing. And I think now, I think, I think she's like done in 10 or 15 minutes with, with each one with recording and everything else. And then what I did on my post roll is I took the recording from my radio advertising. So the first, the, the pre-roll is my voice. The middle one is, is Haley doing the description of the house. And then the post-roll is, um, is my radio ad. So it gives a little variety in there too. That's great. I appreciate that. And, um, and if anyone has a, um, like a microphone that you use uh, for webinars. I mean, you can use that, uh, like a headset, you can use that. And if you're on a PC, uh, there are, um, um, there's a free, uh, just in, in the, uh, I think in accessories here, there's a free sound recorder. So you can download Audacity just like um, Bill did, or if you have a PC, uh, there's sound recorder here that you can record uh, with a microphone. Uh, if you have a Mac, I believe there's a there's a sound recorder as well um, that uh, is very similar to to something on a PC. So I'm just on a PC now, so I'm showing you that. But if you have a a Mac, a, a, there's an equivalent. So um, you don't have to you know go out and spend a lot of money to you know uh, if you have a microphone or if you have um, you know, if you have a PC or a uh, computer, you're you're pretty much all set. So I'm not. You don't need anything extra. I, I mean, I just do this on my phone. I just record it on my phone, and then we. Right. That's how my admin does it. I don't know how she gets it on there, but I just do the recording on. I think on my phone on my recording thing, and then I. I think I email it, and then they just she just uploads it. Oh, yeah. This is not a yeah. complicated deal, man. Like if you're getting listings. When you write the listing, there's like you put the sign in the front yard, there's a Craig Proctor system uh, application for that. Uh, when you put the listing in Zillow, there's a Craig Op Proctor application for that. This is part of that, man, secondary sign. This is cool, man. Um, I know it takes some work here to do this. You don't have to do that, you know, let, help, helping everybody out here that to get it going. So I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. I hope you enjoyed the insight and the in-depth best practices that our panel shared with you today. And now, take the 9 for 90 test drive. For only $9 for 90 days, you could test drive the House Talk account 
that it allows you to upload any one of your properties to the system. So you can upload any one property at any time to the system. You can update it. You could change properties. You could test out this one property or one property at a time against your other listed properties. So you could do a fair comparison over the next 90 days. Now you can update or change the property at any time during this period. And the program, you can use the program in its fullness otherwise. And we provide you with training videos on how to use the program. Here's what we provide you for your 9 for 90 test drive. We provide you with the sign files for the yard and directional signs that you saw uh, the panel reveal in the video. You're going to download these and you're going to give them to your sign maker or printer. You're going to get an exclusive promotional animated video on House Talk that you can add to your listing presentation. There's the pop-up follow me feature that we saw in the video that lets prospects contact you from their smartphone. You also get extensive back-end stats that show you how many visitors, how many unique visitors you had viewing your property. This is a great tool to show your home sellers about all the activity that you've been producing for their house listing. And of course, you have access to the training videos that we have at doneforyoutraining.com on how to use House Talk effectively. Now, you get all this in your welcome email when you join House Talk. And you have access to all of this, including the House Talk account, for $9 for 90 days. This is our 9 for 90 test drive. After 90 days, you can continue with any one of our other accounts, or you can do nothing. You don't have to continue. There's no obligation to continue with House Talk after the 90 days. But if you did want to continue, you can access any one of our other accounts. We have three accounts that you could choose from. There's our single agent account, which is $49 a month. That allows you to upload up to 50 homes at any one time to your account. And you can keep all of the features and benefits of the account that you've become accustomed to. If you're a team leader or a broker, you can choose our team leader or broker account. What's our team leader and broker account? It gives you more listing and property capacity. So as a team leader account, you can have up to 10 registered agents on the account who can then upload up to 50 homes to your account. So each individual agent would have their own access and login code where they can then upload their listings that are under your team banner to your team house talk account so that everyone's properties and listings are viewed under your banner. As a broker, similar to the team leader account, you can have up to 100 agents registered in your account and each of those 100 agents can then upload up to 50 homes to your broker account and again all of the properties are under your broker banner so that everyone customers other agents can have access or view properties under your broker account you could add or change properties to your account at any times so what you want to do is you'll want to go to the website thehousetalks.com once you're on the site you can watch the promo video you can see all of the benefits and assets that you're going to receive with the program and as you scroll down you can see the three accounts that I just described and choose the account that's right for you. Now for the trial you'll want to pick the single agent account click on sign up You'll fill in your information 
and then for the promo code you're going to put HT9 for 90 HT9 for 90 and then you will then have access to our 9 for 90 program get started today with your trial account this is a limited time offer do it today and we'll get you started on your 9 for 90 trial thanks for watching have a great day